even has a lot of wonderful qualities. But one of the ones I've noticed that is sort of his base frequency or base value that we can all learn from is that no matter what he's doing, he fills every second of the day, every nanosecond of the day to its fullest. He's always moving forward. He's always chanting. He's always using his time to the maximum. There's not a second wasted in his world. And I really admire that. And he's always pushing himself to the maximum. And it's a very inspiring to see somebody work like that 24 seven. And so the sleep is very minimal um, and the practice is all night long. And so it's just a big blessing to have a being like that working so hard for all of us. This technology is passed from the heart to heart, from teacher to student. So that's what's called a, is a golden chain. And so if you have a chain, if there's a break in it, can you pass with a break? No, you cannot. So the integrity of the golden chain is very, very important. Kundalini yoga cannot be learned without a teacher. It cannot be learned from books. It is the psyche of the teacher which teaches it. That's why it's called the path of the gold. Kundalini yoga is also known as the path of the gold or the golden link, golden chain, because it comes from one to the other, the other to another. This is Yogi Bhajan. My personal belief is if you ask my experience, there are certain souls which have to study from certain souls. The contact of the psychomagnetic field is already arranged. And once in a life, one soul must come into the orbit, the orbit of that soul from where he or she is to learn. In other words, each star in your lifetime must come into the orbit of the sun. It is the law of consciousness. So if the star, after coming into the orbit of the sun, takes the light and creates the rhythm, he or she gets enlightened. Otherwise, if he or she goofs up, that is because of the karma and samskaras. If you're sitting in this room or watching out at home, you have a destiny, you have a contract, you have, uh, it's written for you to receive these teachings. And then it's a very, very special opportunity. So when you have an important birthday of an important teacher, you just want to amplify, magnify your practice, your vibration, everything that you have to give, you want to give it on days like today. We're very much held in Hari Jeevan's aura at Rama Institute. Everything's running from his energy. Somebody asked me this wonderful question in India once. Why you are successful and others are not? I gave a very simple answer. I say I carry people. People do not carry me. So within my strength, I carry as much as I can. Therefore, neither I dwindle nor I drop. Other people are carried. In Kundalini Yoga, we believe in Shavad Guru. But on the other hand, we have the right to open our chakras, we have to expand our shashara, you have the right to purify your ten bodies, you have to know who you are. You have to do it individually and collectively. For me, it's the most important day of the year because it's the day the teacher came onto the planet. And without the teacher, you, you don't have anything really. The greatest gifts you can do for a teacher is your own practice. That's the most precious gift you can give. Because when you practice regularly and you're a holder of the teachings, then you benefit all of humanity. You walk down the street, your aura has the patterns, it has the frequency. You meet somebody casually, you're able to transfer the energy to somebody else on an etheric level. So that's the most beautiful thing you can give 
on a day like today is committing to a practice and sticking to it. Or if you already have a practice, how can I go deeper in my practice? How can I maximize every second of the day in service to a greater cause? 